Hello and welcome to Glittershy Nails. I recently purchased some Your Sugar One Step Gel Polishes. I also purchased a couple of other Your Sugar products as well, which I'll be showing. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing the One Step Gel Polishes. And as always, you can find where I purchased from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification turned on. And please also like this video. These really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I purchased my favourite white and black Your Sugar Gel polishes as I was running low on them. If you see white and black gel polish popsticks or manis, it's more than likely these that I've used. I also have the peel off base coat and then I also purchased six of the one step gel polishes. I will be comparing the whites and blacks together in this video. So I'll start with the peel off base coat. This is a UV LED so it cures in the lamp. Now I've tried this and the reason I've included it in this video is I couldn't get it to peel off. I followed the instructions which says cure for 60 seconds and to peel off, soak the hand in warm water for 5 to 10 minutes. But yeah, it didn't work. I don't know what I did wrong to be fair. So if you know what I am doing wrong, leave me a comment below. I would love to know what I did wrong, how to get this to work. It really baffled me. So I'll quickly go over these two gel polishes. The white is number 685 and the black is 666. I do have a full swatch review video on both of these gel polishes. Here on my channel, you can find them in the Your Sugar playlist. I use two coats of black and depending on application with the white, it's between two to three coats. So I'll set these aside, but I'd love to hear from you if you have tried that peel off base coat. I would love to figure it out, really I would. So I purchased six one step gel polishes. There is 14 different colors to choose from in this range. And there's a nice mix of creams and sparkly colours to choose from. I have six pop sticks which I'll be swatching onto. If you don't know what one step gel polishes are, they are super easy to use as there is no need for a base coat or top coat as it's already inside and it finishes in the same as a no white top coat. So nice and smooth, no tacky layer. I only have one one step gel polish in my collection but these are great for people who are just starting using gel polishes or even like me who've been using them for years so when i swatch them i will also be doing a set of colors and applying the no wipe matte top coat to them so we can see them glossy versus matte so I'll start with the white which is UR01 and this is a nice bright white and they have the same consistency as their normal gel polishes, thick and creamy which is what I've come to expect from their gel polishes. Next is the Movi Nude UR02 and it is such a gorgeous nude colour. I can see this being very popular. I purchased these as I was hoping it sort of might speed up my pop stick swatching making that I have to do every now and then. Next we have the red UR03. This red has a slight coral orangey undertone to it but it is super gorgeous and great for the summer. Next we have black UR04 and this is what I class as a very black black. This seems exactly the same as their normal gel polish 666. I was thinking this would be great for using with pigments which I will be trying out. Next we have grey UR05 and this is a stunning mid-tone grey. Now I don't have anything like this in my collection, to be fair I don't have many greys at all so this is going to be a nice one for me. 
and then finally a shimmery teal UR14 this colour is so so pretty it sort of reminds me of one of the blue sky colours but I can't pronounce its name but it's very mermaidy. that's what I see every time I see this type of colour starting with the white so the one step is on the left and the normal 685 is on the right now I hope that I don't get gel polish everywhere that would really annoy me but there is definitely a colour difference. The one step is slightly brighter than the normal. It's only just there, but there is a difference. Hopefully the swatches might show it a little better, but you can definitely see it in the tops of the bottles as well. On to the blacks, and again the one step is on the left and the normal on the right, which is 666. From looking at the one step, I don't think there's going to be much of a difference. And yeah, there's definitely no difference between the blacks at all. So that comes down to if I want to use a top coat or have it in there already. Basically, if I could be bothered to do the top coat or not. So I'll most probably flick between the two to be fair. So let's start swatching. I'll begin with the white UR01 and I'm just going to apply a nice thin layer to the pop sticks and you can really see how bright this actually is. So curing, this obviously depends on your type of lamp. I use the Sun 5 48 watt UV and LED lamp and I cured these for 30 seconds and they were completely fully cured. I'll then go on to apply the second layer and cure again. Now for me, this is going to be a two to three coater. It all will come down to application at the end of the day. So now that's cured, I'm going to show you this pop stick, which is three coats of the white with a no wipe matte top coat over the top of it. Now, when I did this swatch, I personally preferred the three coats. For me, it just looked better. And then if I bring in this pop stick, this is the normal white 685, two coats with a no wipe finish. So hopefully you can see the brightness difference between the two white gel polishes. Next we have UR02, the mauve, and I'm just gonna repeat the same again. Now, I was sort of hoping that when curing for 30 seconds, it would sort of slightly leave a tackiness to it, pretty much like when we apply no white polishes over pigments and stamping and things like that. But that didn't happen. It was completely fully cured, so. I might have to lower the time a little bit to get that to work. It's trial and error. But they cure brilliantly and super easy to use. It really does cut down the application time. That was one thing I definitely did find. But this colour is going to be so, so popular. I can see it now. So now that that's all cured, two coats looks absolutely fantastic. I'll bring in the matte pop stick, which looks just as stunning. It's the perfect mauve nude color. And I think I actually prefer it matte, if I have to be honest. Next we have UR03 red, and all of the other colors in this range, so 06 to 13, are sparkly shimmery colors. And they're something that I don't tend to use a lot of, but I am hoping that they're going to bring out some more colors in the future. But the coverage on each layer, I think is just brilliant. It's really covered really nice. It's sort of what I've come to expect from the Your Sugar range now. Not so much their little tiny pots, but definitely their bottles. And with them being under two pound a bottle, they're really purse friendly, especially if you're just starting with gel polishes. So now both layers have cured, I'll again bring in the matte pop stick of this color and they both look really pretty. Again, I think I prefer the matte version, but I'm excited to bring these into my swatching boxes and future manis as well. 
Next we have UR04 Black. Now when I was applying this, it felt like I was using the normal one, 666, as consistency of it and the coverage is exactly the same. I'm excited about trying this with pigments as I think it will make it so much easier. Now is that something that you would like to see me do in a mani here on my channel? Again, let me know in the comments below. I have a feeling for me that UR04 is going to replace 666 because I'm cutting out the base coat and top coat layers. But we shall see in time though. So now that's all cured, I'll again bring in the matte pop stick of UR04, which looks really good. And then I'll also bring in the swatch of the normal one, 666, and there is zero difference. So it, this one really does come down to whether you want to use a top coat or not, but they all look great. Next we have UR05, the grey. As I said earlier, I don't have a grey this colour in my gel collection, so I'm excited to add this. But also, I have a stamping polish that I think will look amazing over the top of it. And it's Slate Grey 042 from Clear Jelly Stamper. I think it would look amazing over this. But I am loving these colours. I think these six are good all year round colours, but you'll definitely be seeing these colours in my stamping plate swatches coming very soon. So now that both layers have cured, again, I'll bring in the matte popstick of this colour, which I have to say, I love this grey. Definitely needs to be matte. I'm really very impressed with these so far and I'm excited to see them in Manny's now. I cannot wait to start on. Next we have UR14 Shimmery Teal. This colour, when I was swatching, I did wonder if it would be two or three coats. On the bottle lid swatch, I sort of felt that three coats might look better. Even though the coverage is great, it is a little sheer in places, but because there is no base coat or top coat, doing three layers really isn't going to make a bulky nail at all. So now both layers have been cured, I'll bring in the matte pop stick of this colour and I love shimmery gel polishes turned matte. I think they look so different and I have done it quite a few times before. And to be fair, I actually think I prefer the matte over the glossy. I'm just, I'm strange me. I already have quite a few shimmery ones in my swatching box already and this is going to be another great one to add to them. So my final thoughts on these One Step Your Sugar Gel polishes. I love them. I think they make things like swatching and of course man is so much quicker because you're cutting out layers. But they also applied brilliantly and cured really really well. I had no issues whatsoever definitely worth a purchase I think. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days. There is a link in the description box below. You'll be seeing me use these for manis very very soon. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on these One Step Your Sugar Gel polishes. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did then please give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Comment below, I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, thanks for watching and bye.